Masquerade, paper faces on parade. Masquerade, hide your face so the world will never find you. I think it'd be, oh, sorry. I think it'd be cool to have a masquerade. It would be, but but that's what. I, but I was just doing that because you know what that's from, right? I Phantom should. of the Opera. Yeah, I was like, I should know. Still sad that they shut that that the show ended on Broadway because, damn. I wanted to see it. I saw it. It was great. It it. I know people consider it like a dinosaur musical because of how old it is, but that's dude, bullshit. I know. Anyone who calls it a dinosaur musical, it's just like, yeah, it it's just like calling all new musicals like, like just sperm musicals. They're too young to even matter. It's like, it, it makes no sense. See? Uh, anyway. So, Has Been Hotel, Masquerade. So, we're on episode four. I know there's been people out there clamoring and asking us, hey, when are you reacting to the next one? We'll get there when we get there. Trust me. I'm going to be on break here soon, so we're probably going to be watching two episodes, and that's all you're going to be getting for the next at least week week or so, and then after that we'll be able to finish the rest. Or we might, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But Masquerade, episode four of season one. Also, it only feels like we've watched two of these so far. Well, I think it's because well, the first one was the pilot. First, no, the first one. Oh, no, what? the first one was on YouTube. Oh, the first one's on. That's YouTube. why. It, that's why it feels like that because we had to go. We're having to watch the rest of them on Amazon Prime, whereas we were able to watch the opener on YouTube. But yeah, anyway, I think I just forgot most everything that happened in the second one. The second one, I, that one was. Uh, that was where. Uh, that was where uh, they. Uh, half the the year. Um, is when the when angels they're gonna come back six months oh, instead okay. of a year. Yeah. And she met with uh, Adam. Remember? Well, no, no, no. That was the that was the first episode. The second episode Wait, what? was Serpentius. Oh. Was Serpentius basically becoming a member of the hotel? Yeah. And then the third episode. I remember that part, but. That doesn't feel like it would have taken a whole episode to do. Well, th- that's the thing. The third episode, third episode was them learning to trust each other, and they did the trust exercise. Like Vaggy took them out to the streets and told them, "There's like survive or die." Meanwhile, uh, what's the radio guy's name? Oh, Alistair. Yeah. Alistair. Meanwhile, right, Alistair and, and the egg and the egg boys. Meeting. Yeah, with the egg boys. Yeah. And then they found out that, turns out, angels can be killed, apparently. Mm-hmm. So, who knows? But, anyway, we're on episode four now. And let's get into the masquerade. Here we go! Prime. By the way, people, if you didn't know, Prime is going ad-free. And it is now $3 extra a month to yeah. be ad-free. <laughs> Which we just had to process through. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hey. Oh. Strong Angel, I thought you'd be into this. I want you to tell me where your boss stashes his vault. <laughs> it's hilarious you think I'd tell you anything. Fine! I'll just have to fuck the information out of you. Do your worst. Daddy. Oh, yeah, baby. You know, this performance won me a sex, sex, sexy award. Oh. Ew. Oh. Angel, what the fuck? What? You said it was show and tell day. I'm showing you my best film. You know, not a very convincing interrogation scene. What makes you think you have any right to insult my work to my fucking face? You really gonna sit there and act like these scripts ain't hot garbage? This is classy art. <laughs> you get okay. Drunk All right. I just love the fact that Nifty's literally just sitting there, just like, it's like, oh, oh, that's a neat idea. I'll have to use that. Everyone likes to bitch to the bartender. I know everything about you and these motherfuckers at this point. That one. That one is an insecure buffoon whose lonely ass watches you idiots sleep. 
princess is a bleeding heart who wants to solve everybody else's problems except her own. This one judges everyone and everything because she hates herself. <laughs> and Nifty, yeah. You don't even want to know what her deal is. Wow. <laughs> Kitten's got claws. No. And you! Don't get me started. I see right through you and all this bullshit and how fake you are. Guess that's why I'm an actor, dumbass. And... Hold that thought. I'll be right there. Well, uh, looks like Val needs me for an, uh... Uh-huh, sure. You know what? Fuck you. I don't give a shit what some drunk-ass bartender thinks of me. Angel, you can't leave yet. We haven't finished our exercises for the day. I'm sure you'll manage without me. I know you want to fix everything, but unless you can fix my boss, there's nothing you can do. Oh, why is this so hard? What am I doing wrong? Maybe you can, I don't know, command a little more authority. But that's so mean. It's not mean, exactly. It's uh, aggressive kindness. That I convince him to let Angel spend more time at the hotel! Sure. Whatever gets you there, babe. Mm, at least Vaggie's supportive. Yeah. Albeit a little scattershot, but uh, it's better than nothing. Oh, Daddy, I... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Do you really expect me to memorize this whole script? Oh, no! So many burglars and only one me. Charlie? Uh, oh. My name's Rocky. No one gives a shit. Oh, oh. so this is where the magic happens. What in the ever-loving fuck <laughs> are you doing here? I... Obviously, you've never been to a porn set. Now, where's your boss? Oh. Angel, what is the fucking hold up? Coming! Not off camera, you're not! Please, please, just wait, <laughs> wait until I'm done working and we will talk about this, I promise, but first you gotta go. Oh, shit. Welcome to my humble sex dungeon. What can I do for such a. Ah, um. no, thank you. You don't wanna roll, do you? Because I could make you a star. Make us both no. richer than well. Your papito. Fuck no! I have come to aggressively kindly speak with you about Angel. Later, of course. Make yourself comfortable, your majesty, and enjoy the show. Action! Oh, wow, Mr. Robbers. Don't move, you spicy little uh, <laughs> cock sleeve, or else I will. Oh my god! Charlie, stop it! What the fuck is going on with this? I was just telling him about the Hasman Hotel. It doesn't bother me one bit. If you want help with the script, maybe I can pitch some scenarios that are more hopeful. Okay, okay, um, okay, that's on fire. That's okay. Oh my gosh, I am so, 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 so sorry. I, I, I can clean this up. I, I can... Don't you worry your pretty blonde head about it. We have people for that. Angel, can I see you in your dressing room for a moment? Val, I didn't know that you... Uh. So, I... You really think you can have Lucifer's little bitch fight your battles for you? You think she can get you out of work? No! You know she can't do anything. I own you, or have you forgotten that? No. When I say you are fucking 20 guys before lunch, you say... Yes, Valentino. When I say you better get that fucking... Out of my studio! You say... I'll, I'll tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. I have killed uh, uh, bitches for less than this attitude you're giving me. You're lucky you make me money. Now, you're gonna go get rid of her, and then you're filming all night. Uh, uh. Get your asses back on set, and we are taking this from the top! Ladies and gentlemen, mm. if there was ever, you know, someone unworthy of redemption, someone so far down the rabbit hole of just pure bullshittery and malice, I'm looking at it. I've known people like him. Not to this extreme, but I have known people who are extremely emotionally manipulative 
to the point of where the person who is involved with them will jump on a sword before ever thinking about leaving them. And I have I've witnessed people literally give away the best years of their lives, people who have hearts as big as the ocean, but yet because they're trapped, because they feel like it's what they deserve. Mm. What makes you think you can treat him like that? Charlie, just stop. Angel, what are you talking about? Charlie, leave. You made things worse. I just wanted to help you. Well, you ain't. I... I didn't... mean to... I'm... I'm so sorry. Good boy. And... action. I'm not a bubble of the cash yet. Another lover underneath those flashing lights. Another one of those ruthless nights. What's the worst part of this hell? I can only blame myself. Cause I know you're poison, you're feeding me poison Addicted to this feeling I can't help but swallow up your poison I made my choices Every night I'm living like there's no tomorrow But my story's gonna end with me dead from your poison I got so good at being untrue Your poison, I made my choices Every night I'm wasted like there's Filling up my glass, but it's always hollow Full of poison, I'm sick of the poison Wish I had something to live for tomorrow Damn. I would say that's a banger if it wasn't so sad <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, just Knowing who sings it and knowing what they're in It's just, it makes it impossible to To feel anything except for just you can feel Sorrow. his pain. Yeah. It's, but he's stuck. He is. And it's unfortunate. Until Valentino either dies or releases Angel Dust from the contract, nothing's going to change. And nothing's going to change for Angel Dust until Angel Dust wishes for something greater for himself. Or sees his own worth. Yeah. This is just, it hurts to see someone like this, because, you know, Angel Dust puts on the flirtatious, you know, like, persona. It's an act. It is it's an a act. It's a facade. It's a sham. Yeah. Yeah. And all Angel it's Dust can ever do. It's a defense do. mechanism at this point. Yeah, because yeah. it's what everyone expects him to be. Everyone expects him to be the big flirt. Everyone expects him to be, you know, the hoe bag. Did you see his real name? Anthony. Yes. Yeah. And well, it goes back to uh, according to the lore, he's a gangster who used to work for a, a bunch of mobsters in the '30s, mm. and he spun webs of like deceit amongst the different gangsters, and he died because of that, and that's why he predominantly looks like a spider. Oh. So that's, uh, I'm not sure of like the exact rules of like what you will look like when you go to hell. And if you're if you're not a hellborn, because you know, he's a basically a conscript. He's basically been sent to hell for his actions, and he looks the way he does because of what he did on Earth. I need a drink, the hottest you can make. Mm, you look like shit. Just a long shoot, nothing new. <laughs> oh, I said a strong one. Excuse me. Get the fuck over yourself and pour me a real drink. Look, if you got a problem, you're not going to find the solution at the bottom of a bottle. I should know I've been looking there a long time. No, sure. Then where should I look, hmm? I bet I can make those wings flap. Stop! Fucking Christ! You can cut the act already. It's never going to work on me, so all you're doing is making an ass out of yourself with this fake bullshit. Call me fake one more time, motherfucker! I dare you. Oh, I see it now. Fucking ass! 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. You would be fucking lucky to get a chance to fuck me. You know how much I'm worth? Fuck you. Have fun being a lonely piece of shit. Husk, what did you do? Made him a drink. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he looked really upset. It's just Angel. He'll be fine. Gee, sounds like someone should go after him. Someone named Husk. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Why don't you go if you're so worried? You caused it, you drag him back. No, no. Don't force him back. Just make sure he's safe. I pushed too hard earlier, and I only made things worse. I just don't want anything to happen to him until then. <sighs> That's the thing. The because... kitty noise. Yeah, because of the actions of Valentino, and because of him planting all this in in Angel Dust's head and Angel Dust acting like that towards Charlie, basically it's caused this whole chain... The ripple effect. The ripple effect of, like, everything going on, and it all spawns from Valentino. That's it. Like, and I know that Angel Dust is also to blame because he signed the contract, but the actions of Valentino, in my eyes, are... Manipulative. Well, unforgivable. Yeah. Because I don't care if you know some you have someone under contract. Like there is an innate amount of respect that you need to have for people, and it shows me that he doesn't respect Angel Dust at all. <laughs> New whiskey. I meant the whole bottle. Be a doll and bring me another one. Daddy's out of jokes. Nice try, fuck it. Let's go. What the? Hey! Damn. That's pretty dark. He's gambling. What the actual <laughs> fuck are you doing here? Let go of me. That fucker put something in your drink. You don't think I can tell if someone spikes my drink? I didn't ask for Charlie to save me. I didn't ask for you to save me. I can handle myself. Maybe I'd treat you better if you were real. And not some bullshit version of yourself, always pushing my boundaries. So you might as well just cut the act. It's not an act. It's who I need to be. This is my escape, where I can forget about it all, I, how much I hate everything. If I end up broken, I won't be his favorite toy anymore. I was an overlord once, you know? Yeah. And, uh... It was nice to have that power. But when you're down on your luck, you turn to anything to keep you afloat. Even making deals yourself. So I know what it's like to regret the choices made. And know when you can't take it back. So things look bad and your back's against the wall. You're feeling filthy as a dive bar bathroom stall. <laughs> Can't face the hey. world sober That's and dopeless. Well, let me just say you're correct. Wait, what? <laughs> you're a loser, baby, a loser. Goddamn, baby, you're a lose, lose, loser, and only one star reviews a Viora. How about a Matt Rock Bottom? But you got company. This is supposed to make me feel better. There was a time I thought that no one could relate. We're all living in the same shit sandwich. <laughs> I sold my soul to a psychopathic freak. <laughs> and you think that makes you unique? Get out of here, man. We're both it's losers, hell. baby, we're losers, it's okay to be a coked up dick sucking hoe. Baby, that's fine by me. I'm a loser, honey, a schmoozer and a dummy, but at least I know I'm not alone. You're a loser just, just like me. me. I'm trapped and it gets worse with every hour. You're a loser, baby. A loser, but just maybe if we eat shit together, together things, things will end up differently. differently. Just like... There he is! They're fucking singing! Get him! 
I'm glad someone acknowledges the absurdity on them. Myself, baby. <laughs> this did not go as planned. <laughs> no, it did not. Well, that was something I didn't expect to see, because this guy ain't half bad. <laughs> no, he, he had like three bills, and it took him like 30 minutes to count it. His eyes are so shit. <laughs> and this is the guy you gotta take orders from? I know. What a fucking joke, right? Angel, I promise I won't ever, 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 ever. Charlie, ev it's fine. I get it. Thanks for caring about me. Hey! <laughs> oh, waterworks! Here we go. <laughs> I think this is yours. Okay, Missy. <coughs> Let's get you to bed. Uh, he, he said he forgave me. <laughs> <laughs> Such a sweetheart. Beautiful Maggie. <laughs> hey, how about that drink? You read my mind. Hey. So yeah. Yeah, Charlie's an adorable character. She yes, is. she is. Too cute for words. Uh, Doesn't make any sense her being like the princess of hell or anything. Well, it's because of who her dad is. Yeah. Well, her dad's Lucifer, so it stands to reason. But also, I know that uh, I know that the whole thing with uh, you know Valentino, but it's also Alistair. You know, someone. Who's a protagonist and someone who we're kind of sort of rooting for has basically his leash on Hus. And, um, yeah, that's. I would wor I'm worried about that to a certain degree because I know that if, you know, Angel Dust is going to try and take steps to get out from under Valentino, Husker might try and do the same to get out from under Alistair. And Alistair's not going to like that. And Alistair's probably going to do something very bad. And here's the thing. I like Alistair because right now, he's only really punished people who deserve it. You know, going up against Vox. You know, fucking over Vox, which, well done. And then, of course, you know, you know, always putting Serpentius in line whenever Serpentius needs to be put in line. And then, of course, you know, just doing his normal thing going through but he like this is one thing I like about this show no one is 100% good or 100% bad everyone's just themselves and I think that's one thing that really draws a lot of people to the show is that you know it it's not as simple as black and white you know it's not good and evil you know good and evil can exist anywhere in like multiple like in multiple ways and on varying levels. I know there's some people who look at, you know, what Angel does is do he's like, oh he's living a life of sin and you know, he's beyond saving and this and that and blah blah blah. But then you see why Angel Dust is in the situation that he's in and you think to yourself anyone who's in that situation, I could see them basically just bottoming out like Angel Dust has and just giving themselves over to it because they're trapped and they don't feel like there's a way out. And He's I, also just trying to survive. True. And oh boy. And like he like Nick said, it's like a defense mechanism. Yeah. And hopefully from here well, like his but, entire situation explains his drug addictions. And it explains well, yeah. the song Addict. Which uh, that's the other thing about Addict. I was gonna bring this up. Where's Cherry Bomb? I wonder where that crazy bitch is at. Yeah, I'm sure she'll appear at some point. Yeah, because... She's you... probably my second favorite character in the show. So. And, and that's the thing. Next to Alistair. Yeah. Cherry Bomb, a lot of people forget about her, and I'm one, I'm hoping that she shows up in this because I loved her as a character because her just, like, sheer chaos and always having Angel Dust's back, no matter what. 
Like, that to me is just the best thing. But, all right. This this was a good one. And Masquerade. I get the, the namesake of the episode. Angel is putting on a masquerade around everybody, pretending to be something that he's not. But anyway, that's going to do it. So, till next time, everybody. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Peace.